Don't make a joke about the coronavirus. Don't make a joke about the coronavirus. Don't make a joke about the coronavirus. Don't make a joke about the... <sighs> no, the OBA has not been canceled since the coronavirus. Dang it! <sighs> Welcome everyone back to the OBA. I know it's been a very long time. I know I haven't really been posting anything except for music videos. But honestly, that's the best I could do right now. Anyways, we have a really big bracket, over 60 bots competing, and honestly, that's a lot of bots, so that's going to take a very long time, round robin wise, so we're, ju we're just going to jump into the playoffs, all of them in this episode, yeah, this should be, this should be pretty fun. No, 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 if you're expecting a song intro, you're not going to get a song intro. We're, we're just going to jump into this. Okay. Before we do really anything, I think I should show you what I've done to the arena. So, the walls right here are gone, so we can give the spinners and ram bots a better chance of taking out bots. So, yeah. That's going to be challenging. So, yeah. We're just gonna start this. We're gonna start things off with the first battle for tonight, which is going to be first lobster going against um fight force. Here we go, the very first fight of season nine. Already things are not looking really good for our first lobster. As we get into the first battle of tonight. And that's going to be a win for Bite Force. Alright, here we go with round two. A huge hit. And Bite Force is on his side. And he can't self-ride himself, so the win goes to First Lobster. Alright, here we go with the next round. And that was really fast. <clears throat> I guess that was a really fast round. This is not very energetic, isn't it? <sighs> Bite Force will take the win as we move on to the next round. This next round, we're going to have Terahertz going against Hypershock. And here we go. Be dragging to the wall, cutting them through. A huge hit and a hammer to the spinner. Giving some effect to the uh, bots right here. And that's one of the sides. And we're going to stop the fight right there. The time limit has been reached. We'll go down to a judge's decision. Alright. The judge's decision was unanimous. <clears throat> and the winner, by unanimous decision, will be Tara Hertz. Start this next round. And things are not looking good for both bots. The hammer has just gone. And a huge hit that's going to override both bots. me a win for Hypershock. 
All right, let's get this battle underway. And the front has just come off on terahertz. The spinner is not going good. And a huge hit would take off one of the treads. And do the exact same thing. And there goes the, the hammer. That's probably not going to be good for them. If they only got one tread, what more could they really do besides hold a ride? Which they are not really doing right now. Looks like they're unable to override. And the winner is going to be Terahertz. Okay, this fight I'm actually really excited for. <clears throat> it's going to be Whiteout going against Ice Wave. Who's going to be the best snow related bot in this competition? We were about to find out as both bots are flipped over. And a huge flip that's going to basically take out Whiteout. That's not going to be good. And then Whiteout will move him out of bounds and will give Whiteout the win. Alright, here we go for round two. Huge hits from Ice Wave. And there goes Ice Wave Spinner. And a huge flip out of the arena. And Dominator, and I mean Whiteout, will take the win. Alright, here we go. Round three. Another huge flip. Moving out of the way. And there goes the bot completely. And a huge hit. Take off one of the parts. Will fly right by the screen. And another huge flip. They'll flip him out of the arena. And Dominator is the winner. Three for three. This should also be another very interesting fight. Here we have Doomsday making his very first playoff playoff appearance since 2018, going against Son of Waiachi, the the full body spinner that almost took out, I think actually took out one of the most feared flippers in the competition, Cannon. <clears throat> so let's get things underway as we see these two fight each other for the very first time. And that, that, that was very embarrassing, um, and also very anticlimactic, um, so we're just gonna move on to round two. And a huge hit to the back, probably gonna do a lot of things, and that's gonna take out one of the wheels it looks like, not, one of the wheels looks like it's... Not in very good condition. And there goes one of the wheels right there. And a huge hit. And there is the run. We were expecting a very diverse battle between these two. But I guess today is not going to be that day. Or maybe it is! Wow! With one wheel, lifts the bot up. That is insane. The very first time we've ever seen that in LBA history. Alright, here we go. Round three. Hitting it backwards. Another huge hit. These two are both head to head right now. much to commentate right here 
huge hit from both bots, and he tries flipping, and that's probably going to put him in a very bad situation right there. As he takes out one of the wheels, I think it's over right here. This is how Doomsday will end. Not with a bang, but with a whimper. As Son of Waiachi takes the win, and then some. He will be going against the rookie sensation that is wide out in the next round. This should be a good time to say if you're watching this and you're not subscribed yet, you should. Because this is the only association that has not been canceled because of the coronavirus. Man, I sound bad saying that. Uh, segue to uh, Cannon going against a new bot, Dominator. Dominator has been made out of speed champion parts. Honestly, he's one of the best looking Rambots we've seen to date. So, let's go. This is the beauty contest. He would win this. Not very good right now, as we see that he's going to set him up. Put him against the wall. I think this could be it. No, it's not. And a huge flip. And another huge flip. People were expecting this fight to be very one-sided. But it looks like it took Cannon some time to actually do that. Alright, here we go for the next round. And a huge flip. And, and it looks like that Cannon has flipped himself out. And that's going to give Dominator the win. That was not expected. If Dominator wins this battle, it'll be the very first time that a rookie has ever beaten Cannon in the playoffs. And already that front has come off. Are you kidding me? Okay, if both bots are overrided and cannot move, then both bots will lose. So it's 2-2 two to two right now. Meaning we have to have a tiebreaker round. So we're going to be doing that. It's been a while since we've actually had to enforce that rule. I think the last time we ever enforced that rule was in uh, the fourth episode of the first season when Senawayachi and Kamara had interlocked with each other. And that was the most viewed video on my channel. So let's make this second viewed, shall we? Alright, and already... Cannon! Cannon has flipped out of the arena! Are you kidding me? Dominator has pulled off the biggest upset of this episode. And we're only getting things started. Showing another great matchup next match. Wow. That was insane. The last time we saw this matchup... It was the end of a dynasty. Could this be the beginning of a new dynasty? Or will we get a repeat of what happened last season with the fall of Raptor? Let's find out, ladies and gentlemen, as we start this battle. Full on, Raptor is going to inflict some pain, and both bots flip out of the arena. And that's going to be a one-for-one -one situation. So whoever wins this next fight will win. And Raptor will flip him out of the arena. And that's going to be two for one. But we're going to have another match anyways. And Raptor putting the back slap on Death Spin. And he has gotten his revenge. And that was the fastest match this episode. And there he is celebrating. Could this be the beginning of a new era? Maybe so, but we're going to have to wait until next round. Speaking of next, let's move on to our next match. Here we have a liftoff. A new bot coming into this match, going against the box. And are up for last season. Let's see how he does against the new rookie. And as we begin, it looks like... It's going to be a win for liftoff. 
Here we go for round two. And here we go for round two. I'm just gonna win for lift off once more. But the question is, can he go three for three? Yes. The answer is yes. He can go three for three. And lift off will win and go three for three. He will be going against the winner of the next match. Speaking of which, the tick going against. Overshock. Oh yeah. Here, let's go with the first round. My question is, is this going to be the first time that we can see those walls in use? Probably not. It's always good to know. And yes, it is! And for the very first time, a vertical spinner has knocked a bot out of the arena. Good job, Overshock. Here we go for round two. And again, we'll hit him out of the arena. It's just... The same old thing all over again. And another time. I'm not even giving him a chance. And that's going to go three for three. This is a very powerful vertical spinner. And a very, very powerful lightweight. It will be going against the heavyweight liftoff in the next round. Alright, here we go. The next spot in this competition. Witch Doctor, the bot that ended the streak that Ramp has put up, going undefeated in the regular season and in the playoffs, knocking him out and being the Desperado Tournament winner, going against this. Oh my god, am I just... <sighs> Alright, let's see how this bot will go against... Which doctor is going to have Roadblock in a twist right here? He's going to lose one of his pieces. He's trying to get him, but he's not able to. Roadblock going over. Roadblock actually is taking the hurt to Witch Doctor. This is new. And he's going to flip over, and that's going to give Witch Doctor the win. This was... That was an interesting fight. Here we go for the next match. And Roadblock's going to pin Witch Doctor. Have him in a lock right here. Trying to get his claw into there. And the Witch Doctor is going to lift him up and show the crowd. Look at this. And it's just going to set him off. And just like that, that's going to be a memorable moment for the Bucks. The Witch Doctor has solidified his win. And going to the playoffs. Oh god, he's probably going to go against Fidget. Oh god. <coughs> We're just going to move on. Here we go for the main event for this episode. The last fight for this episode. <sighs> Fidget going against Metal Samurai. So this is Metal Samurai's very first playoff appearance since last season. Why did I even say that? As we go into this fight, a huge hit out of the arena. You know it's going to be a good fight when Fidget's in the arena. Huge hit, and another huge hit, and another huge hit, and another huge hit. Fidget is just too powerful. There's nothing left. Take off the wheel. Take it off. Oh, 
don't think he's going to be able to take off the wheel. The only thing that's left on that bot is one wheel. And he's going to kick him aside. The most destructive fight in LBA history. Nay, in Leo BattleBots history. This is the most destructive battle I have ever seen in a LEGO BattleBots tournament. And he's still trying to take off that wheel, even though it's impossible at this point. And this was just the second fight. I don't even think I can be able to repair this for next fight. That's going to be the last fight of the episode. Well, the first episode's got a lot of great moments. And we're going to end it right here. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of the OBA. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. It will probably be posted in a few short minutes. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.